Hey, welcome back to another of the 2017 World Championship deck opening. Um, this time around, we're going to be doing Cabo Fukasi. Hopefully, that's how you pronounce it correctly. His deck name was Samurai Sniper. So, let's take a look. Um, he was a junior semi-finalist from Japan. Um, and his deck surrounded Glissopod, Decidueye, and also Tapu Lele. So, let's take a look inside. I'm not going to spend as much time going through the booklet and stuff like that in this video like I did in last. Um, but we'll take a quick gander to see if we can find this guy. And so he was a junior division semi-finalist. Here you go. So he finished in third place. So this year's Worlds Mark. Cabo's last season as a junior division player and was his last chance to play for the card he finds most interesting Forest of Giant Plants, which is now rotated out of standard format and is banned and expanded. He gave it an excellent standoff, finishing the top four in the junior division by pairing the popular sniper Decidueye with the powerful new attacker Galissapod. Um, that is pretty cool. Um, so let's take a look at the cards that's in the front of here, of his deck anyway. Uh, so this is the first time that I can remember anyway in the recent past where one of the winners of a division did not get a world championship deck. Um, normally it's the three winners of the three divisions. This is the pin by the way, the Anaheim Pikachu pin. Normally the winners of the three divisions get a deck and then a third person who is a finalist usually or something like that but not this time around so the cards in the front or decidui gx and also espion G well, ex from a break point I'll line those guys up there let's take a look at the decks themselves to see what he had going for him Um, never pronounce this right. Sudowudo, uh, field blower, a couple field blowers, float stones as well. Forest of giant plants, like it was mentioning, uh, which is now rotated out and is banned and expanded. Always a cool card. So full place said that Guzma was popular this year at the World Championships. Um, ends is ever popular. Uh, revitalizer from generations uh, another decidui and another decidui ultra ball more ultra balls so full set of ultra balls vs seeker sad to see these guys go double colorless um, we have grass energy and I'm guessing a whack of grass energies Yep, so that's all for that side of it. Let's look inside and take a look at his deck box. Kind of cool green theme for his deck box. And let's see what we have inside of here. So we got Bridget from Breakthrough, Dartrix, um, Rowlet, of course. Then we have Galissapod. Um, two, three Galissapods, have to have Wimpod, and then the Tapu Leles. So, I think he had a couple Tapus, yep. Tapu Coco, so this was a popular card at the Worlds. Um, it sold really well just before it, so this is, again, the Tapu Coco from the figure collection box last year. That had flying flip, which quite a few people were interested in. This attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Um, so it's a good blanket wash damage. So we had a couple of those. Ace Roller, Choice Band. Two, three, no, three, and then Professor Sycamore. Good old faithful. And of course, the code card. So yeah, that is it uh, for this deck. I'll leave you with the pin as well. Um, lots of EXs in this one. Well, 
EX and GX. I think there's nine of them. So the two Tapu Gogos, they had the two Leles, one, two, three Galissapods, so that's five, and then one, two, three Decidue and Espeon. So that's getting up there for nine ultra rares in one deck. It's not bad. Anyways, I'll leave you with Pikachu to say bye. I'm going to be opening up the third and fourth decks here in video shortly. Stay tuned if you're interested to see what is featured. See you next time.